Uh, in this series, uh, I'd like to uh, basically uh, do different uh, demonstrations for different circuits related to the operation amplifier. So basically in this series, I will try first to uh, give some theoretical background. I will do some circuit analysis and then I will uh, do after that a demonstrations experimental demonstration to show you uh, the uh, output in, in, in real circuit, how it look like compared to the to the theoretical uh, derivation that I will do uh, in these videos as well. So we'll start with the most common circuit in operation amplifier, which we call the inverting amplifier. And from its name, it is an amplifier. It means it amplifies the signal and it is an inverting mean that it change the sign of the input. So if the input is negative, it will become positive. If it's positive, it will become negative. So let's go to the circuit. So this is my inverting amplifier circuit. OK, so as you can see here, we have the operational amplifier. Uh, this operational amplifier is connected to a input voltage and here it will be a DC voltage and this is your output. Now let's first go from the uh, chip numbering to the circuit to the actual circuit. So this is the chip basically so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight legs. Okay and here is each leg what is used for. So Leg number two, it is an invert input. So this is basically pin number two. And then pin number three is your non-inverting input, which is this one. This is your number three. The number four is minus VCC. This is the bias voltage. Without this voltage, the op amp would not turn on. You will not do anything. So basically here we will have the minus VCC and it is usually uh, for the op amp I will be using the uh, 741. This is the most common op amp. It is between 10 to uh, actually 15 volts. So this is from minus 10 to minus 15 volt. Can be any value in between. Then pin number six, it's this one. This is your output. And pin number seven, this is your plus VCC. Plus VCC, again, it is from 10 to 15, 15 volt. So these are the five pins that we connect them. Now there are pin number one, offset null, pin number five, offset null. This is for some more advanced topics in OBAM. We will not cover it in this series. And NC is no connection. There is no connection on number eight. Okay. So that is... Uh, this is how this op amp will be in reality connected and these are the pins and I will show you that after I finish the derivation for the output voltage for an inverting amplifier, I will show how this is connected in real circuit. So basically this non-inverting connected to the, to the ground, so the voltage here V is equal to zero and here the voltage is basically V is equal to zero. Now we said that in the op amp, we have two important rules. The first one that the voltage at the negative terminal equal to the voltage at the positive terminal. So this voltage and this voltage, they are equal to each other. Now, since the voltage at the positive terminal VB is equal to zero, then this voltage is equal to zero as well. Your VN is equal to zero as well. The second rule that the current that goes into the op amp, so this is current I in the negative terminal, and I in the positive terminal, both I N is equal to I P is equal to zero. So in ideal op amp analysis, the current that enters the op amp is equal to, to zero. These are the most two important rules to analyze any op amp uh, circuit. And then after that, it's nodal analysis. So basically here we have three nodes, this node A uh, or node B, this node a and this is node C. So usually we don't apply nodal to a, a node connected to a voltage supply. We don't apply it to a node connected to the voltage and output voltage because this will introduce another unknown, which is the current here I out. So the only node we left is node A. So if we apply KCL at node A, assume the currents are 
whatever directions you have. So let's as let's go with the direction that we have here. The, assume the currents are entering the node. We can assume them are leaving the node. It doesn't really matter. So this current is entering the node. So V out minus voltage here is zero divided by R2. This current is enter, so plus the voltage here is Vs minus zero divided by R1 is equal to zero. So we want to find what is the voltage gain? What is the V out over Vs? How much gain I will get from this? So this is very simple equation. So we have V out over R2 is equal to minus Vs over R1. So your V out will be equal to minus R2 over R1 times Vs. So your output voltage will equal to a constant here times the input voltage. Now this constant is R2 over R1, so I can control it. I can control the gain that I want to have in this circuit. And there is a negative sign here. This is why we call it an inverting because of the negative sign, amplifier because of the, of the amplifications. Now in the demonstrations, I will do the following. I will have the VCC equal to around 10.4 volt. The minus VCC will equal to minus 10.4 volt. So this is the VCC and the minus VCC. My VS will equal to around 0.6 volt. Your R2 is equal to 10 kilo ohm. Your R1 will equal to 1 kilo ohm. So from this, your V out should be equal to minus 10 kilo over 1 kilo times 0.6. So I should get minus 6 volt. So please come and join me in this simple demonstration. I will show you the circuit, how it's constructed, how we can go from this to actual circuit built using the op amp, and then we will measure the output voltage. Uh, hi everyone. Now let me explain uh, the circuit that I just showed to you their schematic diagram. So basically this is our op amp. So it have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Okay. So let's see the connections one by one. So at terminal two, we have two connections here. One of them is the resistance, the feedback resistance, the 10 kilo ohm that goes from point six, terminal six, which is the output terminal to terminal two. So this is the feedback resistance. And then there is the one kilo ohm resistance that goes to the input voltage. And then at terminal number three, we have the common point in our supply or the ground. So point number three here is connected to the connected to the ground. Then we have point number four Point number four is connected to the negative DC supply, okay? And point number seven is connected to the positive DC supply. This is my DC supply, so if I turn it on here, you will have four outputs. This is the output for the six volt. Now, if I select six, so we have around 0 0.59, 0 0.6 volt. If I select the 20, this is the bias around 10.4 plus DC. If I select the negative, it, it will have minus 10.4. So that is the overall circuit diagram of my inverting amplifier. So I'm expecting now to see an output that is equal to minus the input voltage, which is here I have shown to you as around 0.6 volt times the two resistance R2 over R1 or 10 over 1. So we, I'm expecting to see a gain of 10 inverting. So I'm expecting to see an output equal to minus 6 volt. Now we will do the, uh, the measurement. Now the DC supply is basically not turned on. Now if, and I connected the uh, voltmeter between terminal number six and uh, terminal uh, number uh, three to measure your output between the output and the ground uh, reference. Now, when you look here to the output, 
it is almost zero because the ob amp not yet biased. And we mentioned that before, that the ob amp to work as an amplifier, you have to bias it. So now let me turn it on. And this is your input. And you look here, the output is minus six volt. And that's what we expected. And inverting, so there is the minus sign here. And an amplifier, it goes from 0.6 to 6 volt or a gain of 10.